Hey, Zen Cryer de Brooke here, uh, talking about my cancer, fear-free cancer journey. Um, and this is a really weird one that I want to talk about today that's happened for me. I um, have become mentally, not personally, a germaphobe. And I've never had issues. As a kid, I rolled around in horse poop and I've, you know, gone fishing and hook, you know, put the worms on the hook and cleaned fish and been all over the world in some really, really filthy places that you're like, oh, there's raw sewage here, you know, gotta be careful and really wash your stuff. I got really sick in Egypt once um, in the Bedouin desert and almost died from dysentery. And, you know, still didn't have any kind of weird experience. And uh, man, since I got my cancer diagnosis, I am noticing filth like in a restaurant, bathroom. I'm surprised. I've never really noticed before. And it's been happening more like there's, I don't know if it's a COVID thing where they're not cleaning the bathrooms as much, which they should be. But it's like, I go into a restaurant and it's filthy, like a gas station restaurant. It's like the edges of the floor and the walls haven't been wiped down. It's just really creepy. And it's been interesting because my internal guidance system is operating while I'm creeped out while I'm like, oh, I can't do it. I even left a restaurant uh, after I went to the bathroom before we were seated and I was like, came to my, out with my husband and was like, we can't eat here. I mean, if that's what their bathroom looks like, I can only imagine what their kitchen looks like. We have to go. And it opened me. I felt sure of that. And then there's been other times where I've been creeped out and um, closed that I had to leave or that it was gonna affect me, that I was gonna get sick or there was something wrong. I would get this tight feeling as I'm running the story that I'm that this is dirty and sick and I have to run away. So it's been really weird because I've never been a germaphobe. I've always felt like completely contained and self um, self aware that my body was safe and clean and solid and and that I was pretty much good to go on all that. And um, and man, I tell you, we were hiking trekking up in Nepal and there's very little water as you're trekking up towards Everest. I did not climb to Everest. It was just a trek toward to the camp area. But, um, and you're being served and it's an amazing experience to be up there in the mountains, but there's very little water. And these, the people serving you in, in these little bed and breakfasts up the, as you go up the mountain, they're filthy. Their hands are really dirty. I mean, they literally wipe snot and then pick up your bowl <laughs> of, um, Oh, I can't, doll bot and hand it to you, you know, and you're just looking at their hand and you're looking at them and you're like, okay, well, here we are, you know, um, this is the only food we got. You don't pack your own food up uh, as you're trekking into Nepal. And you're just, I, I remember thinking, okay, well, there's been uh, thousands of people who've trekked through this area and been served by all of these people. And we're not hearing a bunch of stories about people dying on the side of road of dysentery or a disease. So it must be okay. And you just trek on, eat your food and trek on. And so, you know, it's just this very interesting experience, number one, that this is happening, that I'm getting creeped out so badly. And then number two, it's been a very interesting experience to have some of the time I need to not eat there or, or leave or be a part of that or wipe something up. Um, and then the other time, I'm okay. I can feel I'm okay, that this isn't gonna affect me. I was planting my, I, I love to do strawberries, tomatoes, and dahlias. That's my like garden for the year. And uh, I don't ever care about all the fertilizer and the, the poopy do soil that I have to use. And I put raw eggs, shells, or not raw eggs, raw, I put in egg shells for the calcium in my tomatoes. And there's fish heads, <laughs> which I know sounds funny, but these things are all really important to get into your, your strawberries and tomatoes. And, um, this year it was hard and before it never was. I made sure I had gloves, you know, that were all the way up kind of thing. And it was really different. It's been really different. Walking barefoot has never bothered me before. It bothers me now and it opens me to not walk barefoot. Um, and then the food I eat right now, I eat raw food was fine with me. And right now it's not opening me to do salads unless they're my make them at home. And it's not opening me to eat raw or, you know, like, I love uh, seared tuna. It's just fascinating that it doesn't open me. I'm, I'm closed when I go to order it because I love it. And then I'm thinking I shouldn't eat this and I feel my body expand and I 
know that, that right now at this time, cooked is better for me. Uh, so it's been really interesting. So I just wanted to share that with you because it's one of those changes that that I have experienced that I did no idea that it would happen, that I would feel this way. And then the way that it's been true sometimes and not true sometimes, I think is something that's really important. And I think that's true for us in different areas of our life with different people and different situations and what we're supposed to put up with one year, maybe not so much the next year, all of that. All right, so sending you love and blessings. Go forth and have an amazing day. Bye.